Hi, my name is Kwame. I'm a developer ambassador here at Algorand, and today we're going to create uh, rock, paper, scissors in Reach. Uh, so this is where we left off in the last uh, video, and now we're going to add some functionality to this project. So the first thing that we're going to do here is create a player object. And we're going to define two methods. The first method is going to be get hand. It's going to be a function. It's going to take uh, no parameters and it's going to return an unsigned integer. The second method is going to be C outcome. Define this as a function. This will take an unsigned integer and it will return null. Okay. So now we can go and attach this player object to Alice and Bob. Okay, and we're good here. So now we can start constructing out the things that Alice and Bob can do. So we'll say a dot only. And then we'll create a variable for the hand. And we're going to use declassify. And we want to interact with that get hand method. Awesome. So now we want Alice to publish her hand. to the chain and we want to commit that. Awesome. So next we're going to do the basically the same thing for Bob. So we'll say b.only. And this goes about the same way. So we're going to say icons for hand b. And we'll use the declassify. We want to interact with the get hand method. And we'll clean this up. Okay. And then we'll get Bob to publish his hand. And now we want it to de determine the outcome. So we'll have a const for the outcome. And the outcome is going to be equal to some uh, modulo arithmetic that we have here. So we'll say hand A plus uh, 4 minus hand B. And then we'll just use modulo here. Okay, great. So now we want to basically interact with these this, with this hand, but Bob needs to commit this first. So now these are both committed, their, their hands have been retrieved and exposed to the network. And now we have the outcome and now we can go through the consensus step. So we have each, let me spell that correctly, and just make sure I don't miss anything here. So we're going to have A for Alice, B for Bob, and we're going to have a function here. And then we can just say we want Alice and Bob to interact with the C outcome. And C outcome. And then we'll just pass in the outcome. And that's basically it for, for that. Um, and here we have the minified, uh, or sorry, the uh, test runner for rock, paper, scissors. Everything is basically, or everything is the same from the last example. What we have here is the hand for rock, paper, scissors. We have an outcome for either Bob uh, winning, Alice winning, or a draw. We um, fill out the uh, get hand method and with the C outcome. 
And the last part here, everything's the same. All we do is attach that player object defining who um, that player is for Alice. And again, for Bob. And with that, we can actually go out and build this. So we'll do a reach build first. Actually, sorry, reach compile. Let's let this compile. Okay, so far so good. So we see our role contract and we see our two participants. So let's do a reach underscore debug equals one. And then we'll do the same thing, but we'll use run this time. And this will build us out a Ethereum based project. And we'll go through, see all of our debug information. thing here. Okay, that looks good. Perfect. And we see that Bob won that game. So now let's do a, another build, but we're going to do it for Algorand this time. So we'll have, we'll use the reach underscore connector mode. And we'll just use algo. And then you can see here that we're building out a Algorand uh, project. And as we can see with the last example, it's spinning itself up. We can see our Algorand depth net is going. It's going through. There we go. And everything is working. So there we have a cross-platform rock, paper, scissors implementation using ReachLang for both Algorand and Ethereum. And uh, that's it for me today. And I'll see you guys in the next video.